in this video, I'm going to be breaking down kind of a little series here I wanted to do before Madden 23. And it's basically a series that I wanted to break down with you about talking about how you go about building a scheme and not only how you go about building a scheme, but how do you do it from something off meta? What I mean by off meta is basically how do you pull out a formation out of note that you don't really see a lot popularly ran and build it from the bottom up. And that's what we're gonna be doing with the next couple of videos in the far tight slot formation out of the West Coast Offensive Playbook. So this is a West Coast Offensive eBook, little free free guide that I'm gonna be doing here on my channel. And uh, really excited just to kind of walk you through uh, the ins and outs of this scheme. So real quickly, all you're gonna need is just the West Coast Playbook. You don't have to have Hot Rod Master. You don't have to have all that stuff. I do have the Hot Rod Master. But really the biggest thing is, again, just that you have the, um, just that you have this formation. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set a couple of audibles here defensively, just so that I can kind of show you that this works against the best defenses that you're gonna be facing. And we're gonna be talking um, about our base play. And my favorite play in this formation, and the formation, or the play that we're gonna really build um, a lot of this stuff around is the play X spot. X spot is an incredible play at a far tight slot. But basically what you wanna be doing whenever you go through here, is you just wanna kinda of pick out like what are some routes, what are some plays that you can build around, like right? a corner route or a deep post route or something like that. So as you can see here, like I said, we're just building through and just kind of looking at some basic plays. And we're gonna start with this play X spot and show you why this is one of my favorite plays. Now as a general rule, I personally like to have my twins to the wide side of the field because it's gonna give me the most amount of space to be able to work. You could run this to the short side as well. I'm also a big proponent of never flipping your formation because um, it just gives the opponent something else to work about, worry about. You see here, we got some really good running plays out of this West Coast as we should in any pro set. And so this is again gonna be just kind of a pro set style of def or, uh, offensive ebook. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna identify, okay, what are the key routes that we have in this formation. So as you can see here, we have this nice tight end post, one of the best routes in the game. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to, uh, we've got a couple different options of things we can do. What I personally really like to do with this play is I like to flat my left of screen receiver, Mike Evans. I'm gonna then take my running back and put him on a streak. And then I'm gonna slant Chris Godwin. So as you can see here, I've got my slant post concept but what makes this play so good is the fact that I have this deep post to the tight end that as you can see, is gonna consistently beat the cover four defense over the top. Now for illustration purposes, I am gonna go ahead in here and um, I am gonna go ahead in here and just do some basic stuff with this. So what you're gonna see is I'm gonna put a little bit of a faster tight end in this position. It's actually better for the offense because what this allows me to do is put Gronkowski at the fullback position. I like to have the fullback dive and the halfback dive uh, available to me. But anyways, back to the play X spot. I just wanna show you why I think this is such a good play because you see here that it's gonna create some really cool little concepts. It's basically a shallow cross type of concept. If they go back with the post, we have the slant right over the middle of the field. But another thing that is really important is this tight end post, especially if you run it on this side of the field, is basically the X spot post from Trips Tight End. And so what you'll see here is this tight end is going to run really, really, really deeply. Now, let me show you um, another setup for this. Um, and it's very simple as well. And basically all we're gonna do with this next setup is we're going to slant Mike Evans, we're going to streak Chris Godwin, and then we are going to motion Chris Godwin to the outside. So you see here, this is a simplified version of the same thing. This will be a little bit better against cover four. Um, if you're having any issue with cover four, as you can see, he's gonna be over the top of that. And then let me go into the cover three. So this is gonna be one of the most popular ways that people try to defend you in Madden. And this is how we're going to basically get around it. So again, just you can motion this guy out on the street, just kind of gives you some good spacing. You also have this snap throw table route right at that little pocket right there. But as you can see, this tight end post really does a good job at beating zone coverage. It's really one of the better zone beaters in the game, as you can see. So it's really good against cover three, cover two, or um, cover three and cover four. And then lastly, um, the last zone we're going to go over is... 
uh, cover three, or I'm sorry, cover two. So as you can see here, it's real simple. Um, if you wanted to, you could do, you could also mix and match. So you could streak Mike Evans and then motion, motion out Goblin on a slant if you want. Some, like just little basic things like this. But as you can see here, the slant post combo is really, really, really good. Okay, and it's going to beat every zone drop in the game as well. There's not a zone drop that's going to be able to get that far back. So now what we want to do is we want to just say, okay, let's take a look at this concept against man-to-man. -man. Well, what you're going to see is we get a little bit of an interesting kind of nuance here. If we do um, want to do something like this, you'll see that Chris Godwin is actually unbumpable. So that's another little piece that, you know, I, that I think is really important. Another little cool thing about this formation is different motion. So you see here, I could motion this out and basically literally create bunch tight end. And so now I can run bunch concepts, right? I could literally run a streak, a flat, and a curl. If I wanted to do something like this, this now opens up this whole kind of sideline as an option. So just think about that whenever you're putting this offense together and um, just the fact that you can use motion. But back to man coverage for just a second. This is actually one of the best man beating formations in the game. Because again, if you take a look at the right side, I can't put that guy in that zone. Now when I motion out, all of a sudden you see we'll get a little bit better of a jam. So this will be a little bit better against man to man, but I still have my tight end post over the middle of the field. There are several ways in which we can build around this concept. Let me give you another play uh, just for fun here. And uh, all we're going to do, again, we talked about the press situation. So let's say that I motion Mike Evans to the right side of the screen. If you take a look at Chris Godwin, there's no one over him. As you can see right here, he's going to get a free release. So if they're going to shade underneath and they're not going to play, um, you know, they're not going to put any deep zone on the field, this could become a really interesting concept. So we could go with a little curl, little um, little high-low concept on the backside, and then now we have this little seam streak over the middle. So you see he doesn't get jammed, and then, of course, you got your tight end right there. So those are just some several little things that you could do um, off of this. I want to show you something else that I really like to do with this play, and that's to create a Y-crossing concept. What do I mean when I say a Y-crossing concept? Well, essentially, we're going to streak Mike Evans. We're going to put Chris Godwin on a deep dig, and we have a flat to our running back. If we want to, we can always put our running back on a quick out, which is one of the best routes in the game this year. And as you can see, this is one of the best cover four drop beaters, as you can see right there. So this is one of my favorite plays. It's very versatile, something you want to start with. You always want to have something. What is your starting point for your offense? For me, this is my starting point. We can build around this in a lot of ways. It's a really fun offense to run, and I uh, hope you look forward to the rest of it. This is kind of a preview of some of the stuff that I put out on Patreon. If you want to get my Patreon, it's only $10 to sign up for that. Get you access to all of my Madden eBooks. Thanks for watching the video. And again, if you want to join the Patreon to get all the eBooks, the link is down in the description.